Hello friends, welcome back to another scenario of Gloomhaven, the Guildmaster campaign. Uh, I've got uh, some good news today. I am joined with, uh, joined by a friend. Um, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hey, hello, this is Andy. Thanks for having me on and enjoy, and I think this is going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah, it'll definitely be a, a good change. Um, if you want to say who you're playing as. Oh, so I've been following your campaign a bit, and I know that you have a uh, Craig Hart um, a quest that you wanted to get to, so I'm going to play as Craig Hart. Awesome. Yeah, I, I've been looking at that one for some time, and uh, I didn't really want to change the dynamic of the group up, so I'm, I'm looking forward to... Uh, to getting past that one. Um, with that in mind, I thought it would be interesting to pull in the uh, newest, I think it's the only unlocked mercenary so far, uh, the Elementalist. So we'll have um, a Savas team going into uh, the Hounds of Despair. Uh, All right, that's exciting. We can be We can be cousins or brothers or something. Right. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, cool. Well, I'll read off the, um, the, the little bit of text here, and then uh, we'll jump right in. A fledgling shrine to the Great Oak was overrun by a pack of ravenous wild dogs who scared away or killed all the followers. The Cragheart wants to help recover the Holy Shrine. So in this... Uh, scenario we're just going to be fighting some normal hounds it dropped down to level one uh, because both of us are level ones and I've also reduced the uh, difficulty down to normal um, as we're going to be playing this uh, in the classic Gloomhaven way where we won't be discussing our actions beforehand uh, so this is going to work a lot different than my normal scenarios um, and episodes where we'll basically be choosing our cards, two cards each, and then um, uh, playing those in kind of a surprise manner rather than um, playing off of each other um, as I normally do. So with that in mind, um, we will select the quest. I think you have to confirm from your end. Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm looking at that now. I've I've played both the board game and the yep. digital version, but I have not been somebody else's um, uh, had someone else host for me. So right. <laughs> uh, some of these choices are going to be new to me. Okay, no problem. And normally, when my, when you and I are playing. Um, it's it's Andy that is reading, so even this is new to us. <laughs> so, as you near the location of the temple, you hear the bang of hounds coming from within. The local area is littered with bones and shreds of clothing. You are glad you were not here to see the carnage when the pack attacked. The smell coming from the tombs is unpleasant, with a lack of food available it seems the dogs have resorted to eating the long dead. You need to be careful of infection while fighting. So the objective here, the overview, uh, the objective says survive 10 more rounds. So we have to survive a total of 10 rounds. Uh, the special rules are if the Crag Heart is exhausted, so either losing all of his cards or all of his health, um, we lose the, the scenario. Um, the other is all enemies have poison added to their attacks. So we'll see how, uh, how that goes. Um, okay, let's go on. on. The 
These dogs look diseased. Be aware, they all have poison on all their attacks. I'm pretty sure that if you can survive long enough, they'll turn, tail, and run. So this room is uh, just one room. We don't have to go anywhere, so movement isn't um, a big issue. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that they all have Retaliate 1. And we'll just be spawning them at the end of every round. So there'll be one spawning here on the, the left uh, at the end of this round and that might change at the uh, the, the next rounds so hmm. so we are we are allowed to say one or two things to basically like basically just one thing uh, to in the the battle to um, let the other know what they're going to do, but it can't be too detailed. Something like, I'm going at initiative four is is uh, going to break the rule, basically. You can say something like, I'm going early or left, things uh, to that nature. Um, so we'll, we'll try our best to, to work off of each other um, through the, the confusion of battle. Uh, so the crag heart is pretty much always slow and the hounds are fast. I'm going to go kind of late and just let them come to me and, and attack. Okay. Unfortunately, the elementalist is uh, typically early um, compared to you anyway. Uh, so I'm going to try my best to stay behind you. <laughs> I have to click a button. Yep. Ooh. I really need to... Oh, man. Okay. I guess I'll go with that. It's going to be tough to not explain what I'm doing, but so they'll be going earlier, um, and I'll be going before you. Um, so they're moving in and then doing attack two plus two if they're adjacent to other uh, their allies. So this is going to hurt. I don't think the ones in the back are they're they're not going to be able to get too close to you so you, that'll be something good first one shouldn't be too bad no second one's gonna hurt up oh that's right and they're poisonous <laughs> Jeez. okay um all right so i am producing some leaf for you. I'm not sure if that's useful for you right away, but um, if if you don't use it now, then we can think about uh, who uses it next. I, I don't know the best course of action here, but... I guess I'll move there and try and hit that guy oh super lucky nice. and I didn't get any items of course before we uh, left uh, so uh, the crag heart started out with like his two starter items which are boots of striding uh, minor power ocean mm. I don't even think you'll be able to push him. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that works. Yep, that's just as good. All right. I guess luckily you have some abilities that will be able to heal you, right? But, um, yes. I might not be able to go very fast to use them, though. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna try to not move and, and make something work. We'll see how it goes. Fair enough. Going early for me, hopefully that's fast enough to beat the hounds, but... Oh, there's a, a new one in the room. Yeah, I, I see that. noticed that uh, moving this direction. Um... I'm going to try and soak up maybe one of these hits so you're not maybe all of them if they uh if they don't. Okay. Okay. Well this isn't so bad. They're just going to move up very quickly and muddle um you, I guess. I don't think the one in the back no, the one in the back won't be able to uh reach us so not so bad I think we got a little lucky there Okay, so I can... I think it's worth me trying to uh, kill one of those guys next to you with the leaf. And that works. And then I'll block this side for you. Creating some ice. Okay. So I'm healing, I'm just healing that poison away. Mm -hmm. And I'm muddled either way, um, so it doesn't really matter if I attack the close guy or the far guy. I'll just hit this the, guy. Who's close. The... Okay. The close guy has uh, retaliate, though. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Should have done the other guy. Okay. Well. Let's see, we have eight more rounds. Uh, so I'm going to try to heal myself with a, a bigger heal this time. Again, trying to go early, but we'll see if that's fast enough. Okay. I... I will try to go as early as possible to deal with one of these guys. The guy probably closer to you. 
Um, There's uh, that button. I don't know if you're ready or not. Oh. I'm sorry, <laughs> I was waiting on you. No, no problem. <laughs> okay, so they're going really late. That's nice. <laughs> um, the guy in the back, uh, the, the hound in the back, won't reach us. And we should be able to deal with both of these guys um, up front. So when you play the physical game, um, do you... Do you see both of the cards that your uh, allies are playing at the same time? Or do you just know yeah, so one of the cards? Everybody reveals their cards at the same time. Um, so then you know what everybody's initiative and I, yeah, you see what all of their options are. Okay. Um, I don't really like to study the other person's cards very much. Um, Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, I think that's available once everyone's revealed their cards. Well, I could see sitting sitting at a table, it could be more annoying to be like standing up and looking over on their side of the table. Um, but here, the options are make it very easy, easy so that you can say, uh, put the cursor over the other player's uh, avatar at the top, and it shows their two cards very easily. Uh, not that I'm staring at them. Well, I'm staring at them right now as I'm explaining it, but I can kind of see what your your plan is in that uh, respect. So, yeah. Um. Okay. So I yeah I assume since you're healing, um. I will make sure that this other guy, the guy in front of you, doesn't hurt you. I do have a stun. Um, I don't know if you're planning on using that Retaliate. Yeah, I am going to use that Retaliate. I feel like I'm going to get hit a lot. Um, yeah. and, and that's going to be a better way of dealing damage to them right. than trying to do melee attacks. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I should... I, I guess I'll try and stun the other guy first. Or, I'll stun the other guy. Uh, and since I'm going earlier, he will attack me if you... Um... Ooh, so should I move away? That's a good question. Yeah, I'll be able to heal. Yeah, okay. Alright. Well, unfortunately, didn't do a lot of damage, but the point was to stun him. Um... I feel like if I, since you're healing, I will step away so it attacks you and then dies. Is that the your plan? Uh, yep, that'll work. Okay. Uh, skip the movement, created air, and then turn. Oh, and you're going to be bringing in earth. So in, in the board game, it gives a little bit of a backstory, not so bad, about um, each mercenary and the backstories between, uh, behind the Elementalist and the Cragheart are very different. The, the Cragheart being um, kind of a weakling uh, of Savas's. Whereas the Elementalist has is basically the master of Savas's um, 
but they can still be friends, right? <laughs> I like to think so. So I'm kind of going middle initiative, not too fast, not too slow. I'm hoping for that far one to get close, but not too close. Uh, I'm going to go relatively early and try to uh, kill that close guy. Cool. Ah. Uh. All right, so they are going late, very late compared to us. Uh, they're having, they're going to make two attacks, attack one, move two, attack one, which is devastating with poison. Uh, so if they do land that first hit and you're not poisoned, you're going to be poisoned and then take another hit. So, but I guess we will. Try to get them to not do that. <laughs> Fantastic. And then they're not going to be able to move far enough to hit you, so that's nice. Um, oh, but unless you're moving up into them. Well, I was hoping they would move to me and then I could attack and attack um, with the top of Frigion Torrent and the bottom of Ice Spikes. And it looks like I can't do either of them. <laughs> uh, something yeah. I could do is pull one of them in, but that is a burn card, and I don't think I want to burn that for one attack. Um... I think and there's nothing really good about the other option. I guess moving up and attacking for one, but if it was, uh, I'm getting low on options now, so I guess what I'll your do. Your ice spikes, your ice spikes should be able to hit. Uh, that one who's closer to you without getting any closer. Ah, right, right, right. Good catch. Um. Yeah. Do that. And I'm just going to move back this direction and pick up that money. I think that's the last of the money since the... the These hounds won't be dropping any loot since they're... They're not summons, they're... I can't remember the name for it. So now I'm in a bad spot, aren't I? Hmm. 
I think I'm going to have to short rest, unfortunately, but uh, we only have four more rounds left, so, oh, six more rounds, sorry, but um, the two cards that I have are not good <laughs> for that situation. Need to back up. Man, I'm regretting not getting any uh, items for him because it would be it would be nice to have something else to use. <laughs> um, yeah, I could do this instead. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Um, it does look like they'll kind of spread out, though. I might get hit twice. Yeah, I'm getting hit twice. Ouch. Uh, well, I'm going to have to take that damage and probably burn this damage. Yep. <laughs> That's probably the one I should get rid of. So I, the card I'm burning um, is Frigent Torrent and it's an attack 3 melee and the bottom is Attack 3 at range 3, pull 2, um, and it's an AoE. While that sounds nice, I don't think I want to be um, in melee range to uh, to use that card. Or be pulling enemies towards me, for that matter. <laughs> um, although this could be a relatively short scenario and <laughs> just have to redo it the way that it's going uh, right now. Yeah. So. Um, well, I will uh, be backing up quite a bit and performing an AoE attack on them. And it did basically nothing. So I'm tempted to just whack this guy next to me to kill him. But I wanted to heal both of us to get rid of our poison. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is how I'm going to do this. Oh, nice. We created a lot of earth element this, uh, this round. <laughs> Yeah. That was close. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, very, very fast is what I'm going to try and do today or now. Um.
Okay. Ugh. Typically the attack one, attack two, you know, those are fine. But the fact that we're getting poisoned every time and they have a lot of movement is uh, is what's making them scary. Um, it looks like you're not going to be using the uh, the leaf, so or the earth element. So I will gladly oh, go for it. Uh, take that there. And one, two, three, four, one, two. Oof. It looks like I'm not going to be able to uh, one, two, three. I should probably take one of these hits so you don't take everything. <laughs> Um, all right, skip movement. Just stay right where you are. Hmm. So unfortunately, it did, did not create the ice element if I skip the movement altogether. Oh uh, yeah, that's a thing that it does. Yeah, I'm not. I don't really like that. <laughs> Um, oh, super lucky. Thank you. poorly <laughs> I guess I <clears throat> should have walked away I, I thought you were going to move and heal but this makes more sense to try and do deal some damage well I mean yeah, I wasn't gonna be able to heal very much here's here's what I'll try I'll do uh, a ranged attack against this guy next to me. Okay. And try really hard to get lucky. Sounds like a good plan. Hey! Okay, and then I can deal one damage to this guy over here. Another thing about the the crag heart, um, I don't think we mentioned, is that he's a danger to his allies. Um, he has many attacks and movements that will hurt his uh, his friends. Um, I guess because he's so sloppy, <laughs> um, yeah. and he can't control himself as much. So, I think many people think of him as kind of like the Hulk in that way. Are you going to be able to finish this guy off? Um, I mean, I would like to, I would like to, but uh, it's, um, yeah, we'll see, I guess. I use okay. air. Okay, I think I can. Uh... No, I don't think so. <laughs> but these rocks are um, very nice. If you could just make a whole wall of those, 
Just That's leave, what like... I was thinking about, but nice. you're saying that's not an option. <laughs> I'd rather kill this guy. Yeah. Yeah. So the, I've I've hit, um, yeah. Oh god, well. There, so this one is going early, unfortunately, but he doesn't have any allies, which is fortunate. So, um, I hate to say this, but I, my best chance is to move away and to attack, rather okay. than take the. Uh, disadvantage and I also want to make sure that I create this wind <laughs> or air air wind if I had infused ice in the last turn then I would be able to stun him which was my ugh, which was my plan but um, did not work that way How's it looking over there? How many uh, how many cards do you have in your burned pile? This is gonna be the third one. Okay, that's not that. My card bad. starts out with a lot of cards, so I, I think I'm gonna be okay for a while still. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the retaliate. Oh, and this works out really well. Yep, uh... Uh, I was gonna heal myself, but that's a better option I have. didn't die but it's controlled <laughs> yeah which is just as good so one two three four so he's four spaces away from me um but i i can't take another long rest a uh, short rest at this point a long rest would be nice <laughs> um but that's a, a luxury that I don't think we'll be seeing very often here. Okay. So I'm I'm wondering how many more retaliates I have left on my retaliate card. Doesn't seem to have a marker way to see that. It says two. So if you on your avatar at the top, there's like a oh, little. Oh, I see. I was. There you go. I was looking at the card in the card selection. Okay. All right. So they're going late, and they are not moving very far. So this this should be a uh, relatively easier turn. Um, I am going to use that air. I don't think, unless you are you looking to use the air. I assume not. I'm not. Yeah. Nope. I see what you're about to do, though. Okay. Um, oh man in order for me to do this I need to be three away from him though and I'm not one two three um, one two yeah so I I hope this doesn't mess up your plan too much, but uh... oh wait, he's not moving at all. So this is even easier. Undo. Um, I move up to. Ugh, I kind of want to just move back behind you again. 
because um, they're not moving very oh. far. Yeah, that that push attack should move them away from you and keep you safe. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's something. Right. Well, my fear is that I I would like to long rest next. Oh, um, I see. So. Yeah, this is unfortunate. I think something really good for him would be the, the winged helm so that he can reach a little further than three every attack. Uh, Actually, come back behind me because I'm going to, to heal your poison away anyway. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to get too far away from you. Okay, so... Um, yep, that's unfortunate. I'll just uh, move back here. Skip and skip the attack. Oh well. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have said long rest for next turn, but. Uh... <laughs> now we're pinning ourselves in the corner, which sounds like a good idea. But uh... <laughs> it'll it'll make it harder for them to surround us at least. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Great. One, two, three, four. Well, I I will long rest um, since I've already said it. Is that something that you are able to say that you're going to take a long rest? I don't. Yeah, that that seems fine. Yeah. Taking a break. Um, the, I think that's fine to say. <laughs> in in the heat of battle. It's, it's kind of weird how they they make a point in the rule book to specify um, that there will be rules about like not communicating too much, but it's it's not super specific about um, what you are actually allowed to say, especially if your your card has some some special rules to it. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna long rest as well and just gamble that uh, they're not gonna be able to move forward this turn. Yeah, I think that's yep. Yeah, no, that's uh, we're both gamble. getting hit. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Well, we're both going to be attacked. Uh, there are only two rounds left, so there's... <laughs> of course he pulled up times, too. Uh, we have this round and one more round, so uh, I think we've made it at this point. Oh, I will take it. I'm poisoned again, that's too bad, but... My uh, poison will heal away from from my long rest. So now we see that you have four burned cards already. Um, and he'll be getting his boots of striding back. So. He's still with us. Yeah, I'm Thanks. just indecisive over here. No problem. Um. I think I'm just going to get rid of my latest card. Q. 
keeping the theme of going as early as possible. So this is our last round. All we have to do is... All you have to do is survive. I can die, I guess. Um, Got plenty of cards to burn. Yeah. I should be able to make it. I don't think we'll be taking more than one attack each, so... So not bad. Try and grab as many points as possible. <laughs> uh... I think it's interesting that you call them points and not experience or XP. Mm. Well, Just because in my brain, like points, points are the thing that you count up, and like that's the only thing that matters. Yeah. Um, but there's so many different things going on in this game that I don't know. I just call them XP. That's all. Yeah. No, I get it. I... Um. Okay, so the the hound is going to attack it, attack me twice, unless I can do something about it. Um, and then the other two are not going to make it. I think the reason I call them points is because when I try to say experience points, I end up saying exponential. Um, <laughs> because XP for me is just sounds more like exponential than experience. Um, so. Okay. I've just stuck with calling them points for that matter, uh, for for that reason, I think. Sure, and they certainly are points. <laughs> okay, I, I'm just going to burn this card and hoping that. No, <laughs> of course not. Oh. Uh... <laughs> of course not. Uh, well, I will just burn a card because I don't want him to attack you twice, I guess. Um, and... I mean, uh, I was hoping that would just kill him. <laughs> uh, this is going to attack both of them. I'm still going to do it because I have another card to burn, so that'll be fine. Of course, it didn't hurt that guy, so... Alright, burn. Raw enhancement, sure. And I've created three elements for you. I'm hoping you can at least use one of them. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Uh, it was a nice thought. Oh, that's nice. I see where you're going with that. I was going to move behind you to, to save you from that guy, but that spot behind you isn't to uh, mm. move through that. Yeah, the closed uh, door is what it's called. <laughs> so this is unnecessary, but uh, this is a fun move to use, and it didn't work so good last time. He's charged from behind the barricade. Ah, oh, and it still didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Oh well. These are, they're pretty weak. They haven't been, uh, they don't have too much health, so. Um, I mean, there's no reason to not burn a card, but I could also just exhaust and... It seems that the, uh, The supposed weaker Savas is the one that was uh, made it to the end. So he's yeah, like he he may not be a super powerful elemental user, but but he's scrappy. He he came up in a difficult sort of lifestyle as, as being a Cragheart. Yeah, no, nah, good stuff. That's fun. All right, unable to break a resolve. The remaining hounds slink into the shadows and leave the tomb, scattering into the desert beyond. Poisonous hounds are even worse than normal hounds. 
Why don't people just own a cat like I do? So the merchant is a cat person. Hmm. Interesting. And we've unlocked two. Um, the Eastern Forest and Ain't Nothing Like a Hound Dog. And judging by the uh, statistics here, it looks like the Cragheart performed, outperformed the Elementalist, which is good to see. Hey, but you looted a lot of gold. Yep. <laughs> That's good. And I picked up a lot of exponentials. Sure. <laughs> um, cool. Well, that was a pretty uh, short scenario. I wasn't expecting it to go that quickly, but... Um, okay, quest complete. 4 XP each, um, major healing potion design, and the Temple of Acorn has been unlocked. Ah, okay. So the Keeper of the Oak is now unlocked. Um, we can take a look at that. Thank you for cleansing the temple of those vile hounds. Our followers will soon return and get the site functional again. As a token of our thanks, we will supply your merchant with our powerful healing potions. All right, so we'll take a look at some of the things that we've unlocked um, since it was a shorter episode and we can we can take care of some of the the bookwork uh, opening up into the trainer um, we've unlocked the eastern forest uh, by unlocking 11 locations we'll claim that reward and this unlocks chapter 1.3 and we gain an enhancement slot uh, for each character. We've reached the coast. That's the first part of the realm connected. I've also been contracted by some outposts in the eastern forest. We should start to look there for work too. I'll add that to the next set of achievements to attain. <laughs> Sounds just like a, a, a video game or a board game instead of... <laughs> Um, and we've killed 10 hounds, which will give us five gold. We could put that to use. Uh, we've also unlocked a lot of, it seems like there's a few more exclamation points here. Oh, I see. It's, um, a, a new relic is available, but we'll have to unlock some locations to get there and the Badlands is now available um, um, we have to reach the Hermitage um, and then we'll unlock chapter 1.4 and so as for the um, new locations to unlock that we've unlocked uh, fairy tales is one of them and uh, this one will bring us uh, east of demon's gate and crossroads is down here uh, just north of samyard uh, we still have spice road uh, the spice route that will unlock Sam Hurt. Um, and then we have three jobs that are available. Unholy Experiments. Fellhounds. And Bandits on the Prowl. So if you um, would like me to go in a certain direction, then leave that in the comments. Um, I want to thank uh, Andy for joining me here today. Yeah, thanks for having me on. This was fun. Yeah, certainly. And I uh, hope we can uh, 
do some more of these in the future. We'll see about that. So, uh, if you've made it this far to the video, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time.